Hey groupies, welcome back to Form Therapy. I'm the video channel producer, you can call me PD. And today we're checking out She's Gone by Chung Irun. I have to say, I am very excited for this because last year I fell in love with B2B. I thought Brother Act was the best album of 2017. I think Irun is a very interesting rapper. I love his rapping style, his flow, and I think he's a fantastic composer. I've never checked out anything solo from him, so this is my first time checking out his solo endeavors. The closest I ever got to seeing him do something non-B2B related was him featuring on Hyuna's Roll Deep track so that's about it so i am very excited for this but before we start i just want to say this video is brought to you by our final teespring merch sale go to teespring.com slash stores slash final sale check out this red velvet bad boy design check out this soft pd design this sale ends march 31st after that all our merch is gone so get them while you can you only have a couple weeks left let's get into the reaction this is your form of therapy okay wow it's like starting right away. Oh wow, that piano. Immediately the sound of this is very dirty and the look of this is very interesting too. It's very mesmerizing. Oh wow, what is this guitar? Sounds like saloon music, like old country or western music. Wow! To interlace rapping with this piano and this guitar? This is a very interesting sound. Wow! That guitar is very, very dirty. Wow! First of all, these drums are very powerful, very hard hitting. I love it. Oh, that stop motion flash photography. Nice effect. I like how they played it to the tune of the guitar. God, his flow is so good. Wow. Also, I know where they shot this. It's an underground electronics uh, shopping mall. Now, I really love the color scheme they're playing with here. This is a very blue music video. A lot of the color grading, a lot of the gradients. It's very blue oriented. But they make it stand out with like some of the dancers are wearing red. Irun is always wearing some form of red. In this one, his hoodie is red. In the other one, his sunglasses were red. This look right here, see? With the leopard print, he's wearing red sunglasses. Your eyes are immediately drawn to him because he's one of the few reds that actually stands out in the scene. I really love it. And look, the red cloud smoke, right? The smoke grenade they chose is red. I like the filmmaking. I like the filmmaking aspect of this. It's well thought out. It's simple things like that that make me really appreciate a music video. Also, I really appreciate the fact that he has both both uh, both gender of dancers. It's not just a bunch of hot women dancing to hip hop music. It's both hot women and hot men. And who knows? Who knows? Non-binary people as well. What? A badass song. That song gets a 10 out of 10 for me. That song is phenomenal. The fact that he incorporates this very grungy electric guitar, this very western acoustic guitar, almost playful old piano sound. Again, a lot of this sounds like, honestly, old western music. Like, this is like a really dark cowboy theme. I would put this as like a theme for a cowboy who's sort of like, he's not the good guy, but he's not the bad guy either, you know, sort of like the Midnight Rider, that kind of stuff. Like, a lot of this has very, very dark, grungy sounds, and it's very non-traditional. Obviously, the elements of hip-hop are in there, but it's just so heavily driven by this guitar 
like I'm very surprised that this is what he chose to go with. I don't know Eden's personal style, but this is phenomenal and I can see why B2B music is amazing and why it's so playful. Seriously, the experimentation of this is great to the point where like in the middle of the song, I decided I'm gonna do a listening party for this entire album. I heard that this is coming with an album. I don't know if it's a mini album or a full album. Either way, I am checking this thing out. Holy crap. B2B, as you can see, I have the Brother Act album right here. B2B has owned my soul when it comes to this seriously very innovative music with really good singing and really good rapping and really good song production. Now, the music video here I thought was very interesting. I like multiple aspects of this music video. They had a lot of dancers that were of mixed genders. Some of the dancers looks kind of fluid. Regardless, I really appreciate that a lot of hip hop videos, if they incorporate dancers, it's usually, you know, I, I guess I'm referring a lot to American hip hop music. Uh, it's usually scantily clad half naked women and it really feels like objectification but that wasn't the case here we got dancers of multiple genders and the dancing was whoa what was that there was some crazy tutting work there was like i don't even know i'm not a dancer so i, I don't know the exact terminology but this was like not traditional k-pop dance this was not just traditional dance in general it was very visually mesmerizing i don't know what style of dance it was but someone tell me in the comments but that was really really cool and it added to this weird edge that this music video has already and then like i said the music video production style this music video is very dark the lighting here is very dark it's very harsh and it has very minimal light but i love that even though the music video was very blue it had blue tones there was a sense of red in almost every scene irun was almost always wearing some form of red to make him stand out and I'm gonna be doing a k-pop study on this later but it's all a part of color theory and basically you counter blue with any sort of reddish tones and it makes that person stand out and so a very harsh red in a very dark environment it makes him stand out against all the cool blues and like you litter the scene a little bit with other dancers wearing red and so they pop out and they, they form like this symmetry around Irun so this was really really cool to look at as well I really appreciate this both on a visual level on a musical level I'm really blown away. I, people have been suggesting for me to check this out for quite a while now, and I see why. This might be one of the better songs released this year. I really enjoyed this. Like, it had a strong impact on me. Like, there's a difference between me watching something, and I enjoyed that, but then there's a difference between I watched something, and then it pulled me in, and this definitely pulled me in. Anyways, guys, what did you think of She's Gone by Chongyun? Did you love it as much as I did? Let me know in the comments below. And once again, we have our final merch sale. Go to teespring.com slash store slash final sale. We have this red velvet design. We have this soft PD design. Sale ends March 31st. After that, we are getting rid of our merch store, so this is your last chance to to rep form of therapy merch. Also, thank you to our monthly groupies. We could not do it without you guys. Your help is greatly appreciated. I'm going full time on this channel, so seriously, you guys mean everything to me right now. If you want to join us, join the club at patreon.com slash form of therapy. Membership starts at $2. You get early access to reaction videos, but for just a little bit more, we also have form of therapy training cards, which are mailed out monthly. So join in on that. Or if you can't help us out, that's completely fine. Why don't you just go ahead and click like down below? It actually helps us out a lot. You may not think it does, but seriously, for every video you click like, it actually helps us progress and get seen by other people as well. Also, why don't you just go ahead and click subscribe up here. Tune in for future reaction and review videos if you haven't already. Also, turn on the notification bell and get that merch down here if you can. Don't worry, no pressure. And go ahead and watch all our other videos over here.